Welcome again to devotion and welcome again to devotion and prayer with the devotional Maranatha, the Lord is coming by Ellen G. White. Today's reading is January the thirty first. To weep or to rejoice. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Jeremiah eight verse twenty. I appeal to the members of our churches not to disregard the fulfilling of the signs of the times, which say so plainly that the end is near. Oh, how many who have not cared for the salvation of their souls will soon make the bitter lamentation. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Oh, that we would remember that it is court week with us, and that our cases are pending. Now is the time to watch and pray, to put away all self-indulgence, all pride, all selfishness. The precious moments that are now by many worse than wasted should be spent in meditation and prayer. Many of those who profess to be keeping the commandments of God are following inclination instead of duty. As they are now, they are, as they are, now, they are unworthy of eternal life. To these careless, indifferent ones, I would say, your vain thoughts, your unkind words, your selfish acts are recorded in the book of heaven. The angels that were present at Belshazzar's idolatrous revelry stand beside you as you dishonor your Redeemer. Sadly, they turn away and grieve that you should thus crucify him afresh and put him to open shame. On Christ's coronation day, he will not acknowledge as his, he will not acknowledge as his any who bear spot or wrinkle or any such thing. But to his faithful ones he will give crowns of immortal glory. Those who would, those who would not that he should reign over them will see him surrounded by the army of the redeemed, each of whom bears the sign, the Lord our righteousness. They will see the head once crowned with thorns, crowned with a diadem of glory. In that day, the redeemed will shine forth in the glory of the Father and His Son. The angels of heaven, touching their golden harps, will welcome the King. And those who are the trophies of His victory, those who have been washed and made white in the blood of the Lamb, a song of triumph will peal forth, filling all heaven. Christ has conquered. He enters the heaven he enters the heavenly court accompanied by his redeemed ones, the witnesses that his mission of suffering and self sacrifice has not been in vain. To weep or to rejoice. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Jeremiah eight verse twenty. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your wonderful goodness, your grace, your mercy, your love. Be with us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. Guide us, Lord. Direct us. Lead out. Fill us, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. We praise you that you are God, King, the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, Christ, our Savior. Confess our sins. We accept your gift of salvation. Cover us in your righteousness and fill us with your Holy Spirit. Give us the latter rain power, Lord. And Lord, help us to choose this day whom we will serve. Help us to choose life and choose you, and not death, Lord. May we not be found amongst those who say, The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Lord, help us to be amongst the harvest that will be taken to heaven with you, Lord. Reclaiming all the promises we've prayed so far, that you will work in us. You will give us a love for you, a love for others, a love for your word, a love for evangelism, a hatred for sin, a hatred of Satan. You will revive us. You will reform us. You will give us a sense of urgency for the time. 
Lord, we claim all these promises and more. We will claim the latter rain power. Lord, we claim this. So we claim that we will be amongst the redeemed who will say, Our Lord, come, Lord Jesus. We will not be amongst that group and help us to pray and intercede for others to be pulled out, to stand with us, to be amongst those who will say, The Lord our God. Give us revival, Lord, once again. Give us reformation once again and give us that latter rain power. We need it so much, Lord. But we thank you for making sure that we will be in the redeemed. Help our faith. Strengthen our faith, Lord. But hold us in the palm of your hand. Do not let us go. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen.